Good morning, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through what's in my travel camera bag and I'll be packing my travel camera bag because very soon I will be setting off um, going traveling in a couple of different places. I just got back from my first place that I went this summer, which was up to Sterling, which I made a video about. If you haven't already seen it, um, I'd recommend, I guess. Um, but yeah, I thought today I'd pack my camera bag, show you how I pack it, what's in it, what the bag is, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, um, let's get started with what's in my camera bag. We'll start off with the bag, um, probably the most important thing because it's carrying everything. This is the Brevity Runner. Um, I really like this bag, it's very compact and I also really like that it doesn't really look much like a camera bag. Um, from the outside, it could just be a normal backpack. I've made a couple of additions to the bag just to make it a bit more personalized. Um, first, we have a, a badge on the front for the Corsairs, which is the band that I made um, the B-side music video for a couple of weeks ago, and I also took some photos at a gig a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, or then on the strap, I have a um, Peak Design capture clip, which basically allows you to hold your camera um, on the strap when you don't want to put it all the way back in the bag, but you also don't want to have it in your hand. So let's start packing it. Um, obviously, what sort of trip I'm going on will affect what I'm packing, but as I'm going through, I'll say what sort of stuff I'd bring on what kind of shoot. So we'll start off with my drone. I take this on pretty much every shoot. It is the um, DJI Mini 2, um, and I will put that in this compartment here. Um, pretty much the perfect size. Um, and then on top of it, I put um, the battery pack. This is the allows to charge three batteries for the drone, um, and that goes in there on top of it. Um, kind of fits pretty well, um, just on top of the drone. And then next, I put my lenses in these two compartments here. Um, this firstly is my Sigma 30mm f 1.4 lens. Um, this is the lens I'd say I probably use the most. Um, it's um, 1. f1.4 is really wide open, I really like the shadow depth of field and also the amount of light that gets let in is really useful for low light um, it's also really sharp um, and yeah 30mm is a good focal length for me um, I use it on my Sony ZV-E10 which has a crop of 1.5 times so the full frame equivalent of, it, of that is 45mm which is um, pretty good, it's not too wide, it's not too telephoto and that just sits nicely in there uh, in that compartment and then the next is my telephoto lens this is um, the Sony um, 55 to 200 millimeter f4.5 to 6.3 um, and it's really useful it zooms in really far and that goes in there and then in this last section of the main section of the bag I put either a microphone or a um, multi-tool which allows me to um, have allen keys screwdrivers flatheads which will be useful for a couple of things that we'll be looking at later that's going to go in this top section and then like lens cleaning cloths and that's pretty much it that goes in there also my uh, Rode Video Micro which I'm using at the moment to film this video but um, that would also go in there um, my camera would usually go in there which is the Sony ZV-E10 with the Sony 16-50mm lens on it and also an ND filter but obviously it can't go in there right now because I'm filming with it Now onto this top section of the bag. This just lifts up and we have a really big area that can fit a lot of stuff in. Um, and I'll start off by putting my drone controller. That goes in here. Um, that doesn't fit in the main section, so that just goes nicely in there. And then next we have my monitor. This will depend on the shoot. I will only bring this if I'm doing like a video shoot. Like I use this from the music video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I will sometimes bring this with me. It depends on the shoot. And that also goes in there. It takes up quite a lot of the room, but it does fit nicely in that section. And then that closes. Um, this is quite good because it, if it's fully packed, it can go like this. It detaches like this. And then if it's less packed, it can go on there. Um, there's a lot of room in that top compartment. And then this front compartment here um, is what I use for SD cards. Um, this is just full of SD cards. Um, keeps them safe. I think it's kind of waterproof, so. If it gets wet, it doesn't mean that you'll lose all the footage. This is my Moment Animal filter that I usually take with me. I don't use it that often, but when you do, it's quite useful for getting some fun, interesting shots. Um, and that's pretty much it for that front compartment. And then, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. There is a top compartment with a laptop sleeve up here where I put my iPad, and that is also only if it's like a big travel. Um, if I'm just going for like a day, um, or even like a weekend, I probably won't need my iPad, so I will leave that at home. But yeah, um, when I do need to take my iPad to like backup footage, or even edit if I'm there for ages, I will take that in that laptop sleeve. And then in this top compartment, um, up here above the main top compartment, um, I will put cables and also um, like my camera strap. Um, this is a one that I got um, as a present from my brother Isaac with my name. It works very well um, and that just get, can fit in there. The tripod goes in the bottom. This is a Amazon Basics one. It's it works all right. Um, I probably will upgrade at some point, um, but that just slots in there. So there we go. Um, the bag is now fully packed. Lots of gear in there. All the gear that you'd need for a travel. Um, so there we go. There we go. I hope you found that at least a little bit entertaining, informational, or informative. Um, but yeah, also, I'm not sure why I forgot the word trip um, it, while filming that. I kept saying, kept saying travel, which did not make grammatical sense. Um, trip would have made a lot more sense because I said all the gear that you'd need for a travel. But yeah, um, oh well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, I'm going away soon and I'll be making videos there. I've got a couple of should be cool plans to film. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. Um, so yeah. Until then, bye.